Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and this time I'm introducing you guys a figure from NECAR series, the Prometheus Engineer Impressive version. Um, I'm a big fan of Alien Moonry and the uh, figure as well, so this, this figure is definitely one of those um, must-get figures on my list. And finally, I got my hands on it, I'm really excited. And it was um, Prometheus movie. Uh, I like it a lot and I appreciate the concept of the engineer or creator or big white according to Chinese uh, this the uh, race create a human being it's really fascinating so um, let's take a look at the box here the box is really simple with only one poster in it and you can see so many alien language words or symbols written on the ruin and then a bunch of dead body here which is um, the engineers as well and on the back there are more scenes from the film here and there's a gigantic image of engineer you can see engineer here it's quite um, realistic because it just I don't know, like the skin's quite uh, crystal clear. It, it looks like I can see through what's going on inside of the skin. And it also looks like they put wax on it to make it look more shiny. But unfortunately, uh, the figure doesn't look like that at all. So let's take a look at the figure. Let me zoom in a bit. Let's uh, we'll see more clearly. Here we go. So um, this engineer figure is quite solid in terms of the um, detail carved all over his body or the painting job or the pattern or um, anything about this figure I just love it because it just looks so realistic it's like just came out of the uh, film Prometheus so yeah for example for the hat you can rotate it 360 degree and if you pay attention to his eyes you can see you can see a little bit rats around um, around the eyes and his eyes ball are the um, black color and with a little bit deep blue in it as well and zoom it closer here we go if you pay attention to carefully to his ear you can still spot a little bit red color around here as well which is quite nice and they made it look so different from human being but in general you can still see the whole has skull is still like human being shape basically and we move down to the neck and it's actually uh, the uh, pressure suit I thought it was uh, part of his body but it looks so cool it's like animal skin and when she goes down and uh, it has a huge rib case here with so many holes around from both sides and there's um, I think it's alien language his race language written right in front of his chest and yeah I think this ribcage for um, the protection and life support when he travelled to the space I think it's really quite a uh, cool concept they put it like that and, and for the arm you could um, rotate it 360 as well no problem but unfortunately you can only pull this out a little bit here we, for example that is as much as you can get which is kind of disappointing because you cannot really pose too much and there's a double joint here and which allows you to pose more motion and one thing good about this arm is that you can actually rotate it like this 360 as well but um, it's kind of useless because you, you can't really pose like that like what's the point moving the arm back like this and and there's no articulation on the, on the hands here but you could still um, th uh, twist it 360 and you can move you can get a little bit moving up and down and side to side as well for the waist part it's made of basically um, soft rubber if you can see it like this it's quite a cool concept because like when you move the legs it gives you more space to move so it doesn't so the leg doesn't get into the way and there's um, 
articulation in sideways ways um, which allows you to move from side to side just a little bit and up and down as well and I would say it's quite surprising I thought it's quite limited but uh, it's quite flexible and the hat for the leg thigh you could rotate it like this 360 no problem and you can do sort of like lift it up actually a lot like this if I can see it and there's a double joint on the knees here as well for example you can you can bend it like this but not too much but I think that's like enough uh, and then you could rotate it as well like the arm and there's and you can rotate the feet as well like this whoops 360 no problem and then you get the um, um, from side to side movement and then up and down as well not too much for the accessory part there's nothing really about that because it comes with zero accessory but the only, the only thing I can show you guys is the detachable hands here Let's zoom in a bit so you can see this hand you can sort of take it out and it's really nice to see how actually um, as you can see um, those veins going through inside this hand and this hand is a different shape from the other and this hand is more like um, a grappling one and you can see these fingerprints inside which really detail and the other one is the one that um, more n natural and normal kind of gesture it's also detailed as well you can see those veins as well and let me do a quick comparison here it's really obvious that the one the one that on my right hand is bigger than the other but so in general I love this figure since I'm a big fan of Prometheus and Alien movie uh, as well and they are somehow connected uh, to each other and these um, engineer um, being a maker who created human being at the very beginning and they also created something um, like alien the basic form of aliens and I think they're really an intelligent creature and also the uh, the whole concept of um, the human being looking for their maker is really cool and I really appreciate this figure and in terms of the painting job uh, every detail carved on this figure and just looks so realistic but the only thing that disappoints me is the leg here which you cannot really move forward like zero f movement and backward as well uh, the only downfall about this figure and the um, flexibility is not really um, good actually um, it's just good for standing posing the display in a cabinet so um, thanks for watching guys I hope to see you guys soon and get yourself a new figure